I never in a million years thought that I would be running my own business, let alone it taken off as quickly as it did. Juggling being a mum and a wife and having time for everything, it's just fallen into place so well. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was work with animals and to travel. I grew up in Cyprus and I can just remember when we flew over there to originally move, looking at the cabin crew, thinking, oh my God, I really want to do that job. So when I got the job, I was just obviously absolutely over the moon for it. And I didn't really see it as work either, because I was going in having fun every day. I was going to be there till I retired, as far as I was concerned. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. Letting thousands of workers go because of the impact of this pandemic. So the pandemic came, no one realised how serious it was going to be. And then when I found out I was being made redundant, we went through another miscarriage, so it was all going on at the same time. I ended up having to have counselling for it because I just couldn't get my head around that my whole identity had just completely gone overnight. Because I had George, I couldn't go back to being the way I was with the first miscarriage. I needed something to focus on, and I'd always wanted to start my career in dog training, so this was a perfect opportunity. <music> to go from one job that I loved to another job that I loved and had passion for. I shadowed Leanne from Dog Training College, learned a lot from her, helping her with puppy classes. And I thought, right, I've always wanted to do it. Now is the opportunity, it's now or never. Years ago, we employed a trainer before I was looking into dog training. And she gave us loads of tools to use and methods to use. And they all ended up being aversive tools, but not knowing any different, we did them and ended up making Vinny worse. Instead of paying someone hundreds of pounds to come around my house and cause more behavioural issues for Vinny, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it myself and if I can help him, great, and if it leads to anything in the future, then that's even better. So working with um, Dog Training College for quite a few years now, I've got loads of experience with them and I'm really lucky they've also put me on courses as well. They gave me loads of advice in starting up a business too. So I set up my website to start with and got a few people to check it over and once I was happy with that, that's when I started advertising myself on local groups. I was lucky enough to be picked up by a local newspaper, um, then that was picked up by a local radio station. It literally took off and went viral. And before I knew it, I was booked up for like three months. That's when I thought, actually, this doesn't just have to be a hobby. I can make something bigger of this. And it just took off so much quicker than I thought it would. My day-to-day -day business is just so busy. I'm meeting so many different clients throughout the day, which is what I missed about flying, and it's still come across with this. But at the same time, it's proven to me that I don't have to work for an employer. I can run my own business. I can choose my own hours and make a success for it, as well as having a happy family life too. So the future, I obviously want my business to continue growing. I am really enjoying it. I'm meeting lots and lots of different people. When the pandemic dies down, I want to go out and meet more people again. And I'm quite happy for people to come to me for help with the newspaper article. I had people emailing me asking for advice. And that just made me realise that I have done the right thing and I can be an inspiration and I can help people out there as well, which it just is really rewarding for me. No matter what life throws at you, you can pick yourself up and make the most of it and hold your head up high and carry on.